Hey guys, so today I'm going to make a video. Um, this was kind of a response video to something I saw at my local game store on Friday, and it was very disturbing, I guess. Um, so I go to a local game store. It's a video game slash game. I mean, they do magic events, but they're really just there to, so my friend buys video games. Uh, and the prices of some cards were underpriced, right? They're underpriced um, because there was a recent spike um, and there was a lot of legacy cards, a lot of dual lands. And he sold the cards for what they were worth, right? And that's fine. I think if a price at, or maybe in the comments below, I think I have something in my eye. Maybe in the comments below, leave me a, uh, let me know if you feel like that's right. I think it is where if a store prices a card and it's off, um, in this case, I think it was the red, what was the one, Steam, not Steam Vents, the other one, Volcanic Island was about $40 lower because it had recently spiked um, due to Eternal Masters announcement. And a lot of the cards, you know, in the Legacy spiked, I think it was uh, over Saturday actually. They just, you know, that's when prices changed and my friend did not keep up prices because Magic is not something that he knows very much about. So, you know, someone goes in and buys all the cards, which is fine. Um, but at the same time, he's buying all these underpriced cards. He's pointing out at these cards that are, are a little overpriced. So I don't think you can have it both ways. You can either say, hey, these price cards are underpriced. I'm going to buy them. And if the store is willing to give you them and they know that it's underpriced, in my opinion, that's fine. Uh, it's not the ideal way. So if a card is, I'm going to use $10 as an example, uh, it's, marked it at $1 and it goes all the way up to $10. Most times I just tell the store owner, hey, you know, this card is $10 Star City Games, but you have it marked at one, would you take six or $7? And the store owner is more than happy to do it and it builds a very solid relationship. Um, but when, but I don't know, I don't think, I don't believe that is necessary um, in my opinion if the marked store is responsible for marking the correct price. But on the flip side, what I see a lot of is when the prices go down a lot, so let's say Ivugan becomes banned and it's no longer a $40, $50 card, people will go to the store and say, hey, this store sucks, look at this price. And then they will rip on, not the store owner, on the person working at the store who's many times um, you know, a teenager in high school or, or in college or, you know, I mean, it's someone who is not the owner of the store. Maybe it's their job to update the prices, but so I feel like there's a lot of, um, that's probably one of the things I like least about, um, I, I don't about magic is that people will, you know, in one aspect, they will take advantage of a low price, but another aspect, they will call you someone out on a high price when it's the same logical function at work, uh, price, prices going up and down and, you know, so, I think that's my biggest pet peeve in Magic. So if you guys have pet peeves in Magic, uh, leave a comment below. I hope I explained it correctly. Uh, essentially, if a card, I'll use another example. If a card is $1 and it goes to $10 and then the store does not update it to $10, you go in the store, you buy for a dollar, you feel good about yourself. The same type of person will see a card that was listed for $10 and let's say it's Ivugan and it got banned I is like 40 bucks and then it goes down to $10 and they will rip the store apart for not being fair pricing. Um, but, and when they're ripping someone apart, it's not the store owner, it's not, it's the person who is at the counter at that time. So in my opinion, uh, very, that's my biggest pet peeve in Magic is when people do that because I can see, I, I can't understand it logically why someone would rip someone, what, why someone would buy the card very cheap and at the same time use the same rationale what that card is, you know, more expensive than it should be to make fun or rip on the store and to give the store a bad reputation. So anyway, that's my two cents. Uh, leave a comment below for your biggest pet peeve in Magic. Bye guys.